I had been up for like three days. I was extremely fatigued. Hair wasn't combed. I still had on my nightgown. When the judge told me my bail, I almost fainted. I couldn't move. I've lived on the south side of Chicago all my life. I have two kids. My son is amazing. He gets along well with his sister, but of course he's five, she's 14. He feels like I'm in the house with two women. Sometimes he say, all I want is just peace. And we'll just look at him and laugh and say, did you hear what he just said? I was going through a divorce. A lot of things got bitter and I had an altercation with my mother-in-law. I had no inkling that I was gonna be arrested because I didn't start it. I was defending myself. After three days of lockup, I was taken to court. I remember going there and it sounded like you had an auction. You can't talk to the judge, you can't say anything. Just stand there, put your hands behind your back. The judge assessed my bill at $250,000. 25,000 to walk. I'm like, I don't have a background. I've never been to jail. You know, why would my bond be so high? I'm 46 years old and my entire life was determined right there within 30 seconds. I was in jail for 14 months. I lost my business, my housing. I couldn't see my kids just because I couldn't make bail. In the end, I took a plea not because I didn't think I could beat the case, but because I needed to be with my children. They had already suffered enough. I don't think that society is really understanding. When you incarcerate women, you're incarcerating the whole family. 